what what's a what? Sorry for the bad English. Um, you know, there's a something that I remember hearing, you know, the early, early days of when I first had a real component stereo system. I was probably in, in junior high school. <laughs> And it still persists today, and it's one of those weird, weird things that even people that have a have some understanding of audio and audio equipment seem to seem to use and seem to perpetuate. And what I mean, what I'm talking about, is how many watts are your speakers? How many times have you heard that? I'll bet you you've heard it a number of times. You know, somebody comes over who hasn't seen your system before, and you know, let's say you've got a big pair of speakers. Oh man, those speakers must must be must have a lot of watts. Watts are meaningful when it's something like a power amplifier in telling us how much power the amplifier can actually deliver into a you know a standardized load, usually a purely resistive load of either eight ohms, four ohms, sometimes six ohms, whatever. I mean, that's, a, that's an actual known quantity. We can say, you know, watts of maximum watts delivered into an 8 ohm load, that's the capability of this power amplifier. And it's a real quantity. Now, I'm not going to go into the fact that, you know, loudspeakers are not purely resistive loads in 99% of the cases out there, and how that impacts the actual power delivery from an amplifier. But, you know, it is a, it's a meaningful quantity there. Asking though, or saying, you know, my speakers are 200 watts, it's totally meaningless. And I've run into this time and time again. I, I had friends in, in high school that would say, oh man, I just got a new pair of speakers and they're, they're 300 watts. And you'd go over and they'd have a little integrated amp that was 50 watts a channel driving them. Yeah, man, listen to how, how loud these, these things can play because they're, they're 300 watts, my new speakers. Well, the amplifier can only deliver 50 watts, so it doesn't matter that some power or wattage rating of your speaker happens to be 300 watts, it could be 3,000 watts and it has nothing to do with anything in terms of the performance of the loudspeaker in how loud it's gonna be able to play or how impressive it might be, et cetera, et cetera. It's a meaningless quantity. Now, where it is important in some cases is when that power is the maximum power rating allowable. Now, you wanna be careful. It's always better to slightly overpower speaker than underpower, but obviously if I take a small bookshelf speaker like this uh, this M2, and I put five or 600 watts into it, it's gonna vaporize the voice coils in the drivers. Wattage, or the speaker power rating wattage, can be useful, but again, it has nothing, nothing to do at all in terms of how loud or how impressive a speaker is gonna be. So please, I'm pleading with you, don't refer to the how many watts are your speakers. It's better to say how many watts is your amplifier, and that's now a meaningful term or a meaningful quantity. So I hope that clears up something that's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. And uh, you know, if, if you've got a pet peeve of you know terms that people throw at audio components that are you know you know are not true and are common, please leave them in the comments below, and maybe we'll do a future video about that topic. Thanks as always for watching.